members of Hong Kong Association from all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the TDC, let me welcome you to this gathering of the international TDC family. And to members of the Hong Kong Association, I would say, welcome home. It's nice to see you. It's nice that some airlines are still flying to bring you back. <laughs> First, I'd like to thank all of the Hong Kong associations for your activities throughout the year to support Hong Kong. Consi the Federation consists of 32 member associations spanning over 24 countries. It is indeed the biggest Hong Kong fan club around the world. Your members do business with Hong Kong, and indeed your members are ambassadors for Hong Kong. I'd like to thank you for your support to Hong Kong through good times and bad. And this is certainly not the best of times. The whole world is facing a financial turmoil, or what is the fallout of the financial turmoil. And Hong Kong is no exception. But being Hong Kong, we have confidence that our people are pragmatic. When times are bad, we are just. And the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, being the business promoter, facilitator, and pathfinder for Hong Kong business, we just have to work harder. Over the next few months, you'll find that we will launch a bunch of new initiatives to bring on new business, open new frontiers. We have every confidence that Hong Kong will come out of this crisis better and stronger in the end. And this is not blind faith. Our confidence is based on a number of factors. First, the regulatory regime that is already in place, put in by the government, has on the whole maintained stability and integrity of our banking and finance sector. Second, our proximity to China and great support from the mainland, as you must have read again this morning from Premier Wen Jiabao. China, with its tremendous economic strength and with the right policies in place, is likely to be the country that will deliver a recovery for the world. And last but not least, I think our confidence rests with the proven ability and vision of one man, Hong Kong's economic supremo, our financial secretary, Mr. John Zhang. In the short time since he became financial secretary, he's already demonstrated great strategic thinking and excellent political judgment not only in financial planning, but also in managing the regulatory regime, and more recently, in solving crisis after crisis. John actually is a good friend of the Council, and we are very, very grateful to him for sharing his time with us today amidst his very, very busy schedule. Actually, John is uh, supposed to go on several promotional trips for the TDC had it not been for the crisis that kept him back in Hong Kong. In fact, over the past couple of weeks, John practically has to give a press briefing every morning. So we get accustomed to seeing John's face on TV every morning, assuring a nervous investing public that everything will be all right in the end, don't panic, the stock market will bounce back, except he didn't tell us when. <laughs> but here is my reading of it. I think when the crisis comes to an end or near an end, John will be happy to resume his traveling schedule. 
So when you get notified that John is coming your way, uh, it's about time to get back into the stock market. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, we are very, very honored that John will speak to us after the main dish, and we look forward to his words of wisdom. Thank you very much.